Hey guys, this is Evie and welcome back to my channel. So these are the dried flowers that I'm going to be using for this look. And I got these from banggood.com. I will leave a link down below. I'll be using these color acrylics and I got these from Born Pretty Store. This sugar glitter is available on my blog, longhairprettynails.com. I'll leave a link down below. And Beauty Secrets Clear Acrylic Powder. So I'm going to be doing my nail prep with the Nail Nails Nail Prep Dehydrator. I've already applied my tips and shaped them. And so I'm just going to apply the dehydrator to my nails and then going in with my coat of No Lift Nails Primer. And before I apply the acrylic, I apply one more coat of primer. And while the primer is still wet, I go ahead and apply my acrylic. And what I'm doing here is just applying a thin layer of clear. I like to do this because when it's time to change my nail design, all I have to do is get my e-file out and go ahead and file down the previous design to this clear base. And then now I'm ready for the next one. It just makes life so much easier. All right, so moving on to my pinky finger after the clear has set, I go ahead and apply my cover nude at the nail bed area and feather that downward to create a soft ombre. And then I'm going in with this beautiful greenish teal color and I'm just going to create a ombre tip with this. This color is very pigmented, so I have to work in very small sections with small beads just to ensure that I get that nice soft ombre that I want. But yeah, just take your time and get that ombre perfect. Moving on to my ring finger, I apply more of the cover nude at the nail bed area as before. And this time I'm applying this beautiful soft pastel peach color to the tip and I'm just going to make sure I'm applying nice even coverage. On my middle finger, I'm applying this same cover nude at the nail bed area. Then I apply this beautiful purple color. This one is very pigmented as well, so you just wanna be careful that it doesn't get all over the place. Moving on to my index finger, once again applying that cover nude at the nail bed area. And then I'm applying this beautiful bright orange acrylic. And for my thumb, I'm applying this beautiful hot pink acrylic. This color is so bright, it is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, going back to the pinky finger, I apply clear and dip that into the sugar glitter and then I apply that all over the tip. And then I go in with more clear acrylic and I use my brush to pick up the dried flower and I just apply that to the nail where I apply the clear and I just try to get it as flat as possible. Um, these work better once you wet them so I use my brush to go ahead and wet them and they flatten out very well and they lay on the nail really nice once you get them you know wet enough to stick to the nail <laughs> so once I have them all in place I decided I wanted more of that sugar glitter on the nail but I didn't want to put it on top of the flower so I'm just going around the flowers And once everything has dried, I go ahead and cap it all with clear acrylic. Moving on to the index finger, I apply the sugar glitter to the tip. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the dried flowers. These flowers were much easier to work with than I thought they were gonna be. I purchased some dried flowers from another vendor and I could not work with those. They sent all type of sticks and and everything that I just couldn't use. So I am so happy that Banggood has these flowers already picked. They're already, you know, flattened out for you. So they're much easier to use. And these are so gorgeous. I just wish there were more in the pack. So I'm going to have to order some more. But these are so beautiful. And the purple ones are my favorite color. Because it has that beautiful like pink center. And then it like fades out to purple. It's just so pretty. <laughs> so yeah, I just repeat this same step for all of the nails. Once you have everything set, it's very important to encapsulate this entirely with clear. If you miss a spot, once you get to filing, you will file the flowers right off. So it is so important to make sure you cover everything with the clear acrylic. And the thumb nail design was my favorite. Oh my God, these flowers are so beautiful on top of this beautiful hot pink base. I just love this nail. <laughs> All right, so this is after all of the acrylic has set and I'm just gonna go in with my hand file and do my shaping and filing and then I finished off with my e-file around the cuticle area. And this is after everything has been filed, shaped and buffed. And I'm going in with the Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat and I apply this to all of the nails. And once you apply the gel top coat, you can just see all the beautiful glitter and the flowers. And then I go ahead and cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds and this is the finished look. I love this design you guys. This is my favorite design I think I've ever done. <laughs> it is so beautiful, it's so pretty and these are real flowers like for real, for real. So I will leave a link down below to these dried flowers from banggood.com. And if you're interested in the sugar glitter, it's available on my blog longcurepprettynails.com in the shop. I will leave a link down below. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in my next one.